Welcome to New Start Now. My name is Kathy. With us today we have Dr. Eddie Ramirez. Hi, thank you for inviting me here. I'm glad that you're here. Today we're going to talk about, let's see if I can say this right, <laughs> endothelium? That's right. Oh good, okay. Share with us what this is. Well, it's so important this topic because when we analyze uh, the causes of death in most of the industrialized countries mm -hmm. and it's spreading into the mm -hmm. developing countries, this is one of the major culprits of those deaths. If you were to go and check in the office uh, where they register all these deaths, mm -hmm. you will see over and over and over that this is a problem. Hmm. Why is this a problem? Well, this is a problem in our industrialized uh, countries because the arteries, um, especially the ones that go and, and are the ones nourishing the heart, mm -hmm. starts, they start to block up, they start to close. Okay. And that is not good, mm -hmm. you know. Um, perfect health depends upon perfect circulation. You know, mm -hmm. this is a, a saying that you should write in a little oh. card and, and repeat it over and over. Yeah. <laughs> and because um, this happens to your arteries, they start to close and to close and to close and to close. The problem with this is that many times the person is not aware that this is happening okay. to them. Okay. In, uh, in our practice, how many times mm -hmm. over and over we tell our patient, okay, you need to do this and this mm -hmm. and this and this, and you need to make this change. Mm -hmm. and they say, no, I, I, I don't want to because I feel great, oh. the doctor. You know, why, why should I change, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> but they don't realize that as these arteries are closing, mm -hmm. not until they have close to a 70% closure of those arteries, that's when the symptoms start to occur. Oh, it's 70%? That's right. So you can be running quite efficiently at 60%. Wow. There's still a lack of uh, oxygen there. Mm -hmm. It's going to represent in different ways. For example, your blood pressure may go up. Mm -hmm. Why? Because oxygen is not able mm -hmm. to get there. So the heart says, let's mm -hmm. pump more blood somehow so we can send more oxygen there. Mm -hmm. And then symptoms start to appear. Um, the person starts walking in a little hill and then suddenly feels a little pain in his heart. That doesn't mm -hmm. mean it's a heart attack, mm -hmm. but that means that the heart is crying, saying, I need more oxygen. That's what that pain in the heart means. Mm -hmm. you know? The person rests, and then the heart comes down because then it doesn't need as much oxygen as it, it was uh, exercising. Okay. Also, um, not only the heart suffers, all the internal organs in the body start to suffer. Um, an, uh, an organ, very important organ of us, the kidneys, mm -hmm. they need a lot of blood. Mm -hmm. um, the legs, uh, the, the person starts to complain, oh, when I go for a walk, I, I, I feel this pain in, in, in my legs, you know, I didn't used to have these things. So those small symptoms start to appear mm -hmm. depending on where we're closing those arteries. So it would be pain in the arm too or just the legs or where is it? It okay. can be wherever the oh, okay. big blockages are oh, starting to happen. So okay. The problem is that uh, if you have a pain in your arm, it's, uh, it's not as important as when you have the pain in your heart, you know, then we're mm -hmm. talking about serious, mm -hmm. serious issues there because somehow we need to create a, a better circulation there and that's where this new start program enters, sure, you know, sure. a person that comes to this program learns the principles and continues to apply these principles will find out how many times the body is able to start opening up those arteries. One thing that we need to watch out, it's going to be uh, cholesterol mm -hmm. and actually all animal products, okay. especially the cholesterol in which there has been oxidation, in which the, the, the product was exposed to air, such as pizza, for example, you know, you're shredding oh, and there's a lot of air there, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. So that oxidized cholesterol goes and damages that artery and the body, in order to help you, it eats that bad cholesterol and it accumulates that and that is what is starting to close and close those arteries. So watch out what you eat and make wise choices. Amen, yes, that's it for sure. 
For more information about this, you can visit our website at newstart.com. Come and join us here. Thank you for being with us today, and God bless. Thank you.